Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to teach you how to tune your car in Torque Drift like a pro. So if you guys are excited for this video, please don't forget to give it a like and also subscribe down below for more Torque Drift content. We got five videos coming at you. We are going to start off with the engine bay. So first of all, the Billet SR20 is like a very good place to start as what they at least told me as in they, the pros. So that's how, that's what they had me start off on. So if you don't have the carbon rarity supercharger, you want to stay with the purple rarity turbocharger maxed out at 18 PSI. And then whatever is the highest grade intake you have. All right, and then ECU, the Link ECU G4 Thunder will allow literally everything and anything to just get slammed up to the top. You'll have the maximum amount of horsepower and you'll have the best tuning capability possible. Nitrous is not required if you get nitrous. It's whatever you, either of the dual systems work. Um, the 75 horsepower one also works too. I'm running the 150 because I got it from a crate. Exhaust, whatever exhaust you have, that is the highest um, rarity. I guess I could just order that now. Why not? And then same thing with intercooler. I don't know why I don't have all this, but basically highest rarity parts um, you can get. Um, those two aren't going to make the biggest of differences. Maybe add like 20 to 30 more horsepower um, collectively. So that's why I really didn't pay attention to them at all. Then for angle kit, I have the Acostal Blatant Kit. So we have 70 degrees of steering lock, negative 13 degrees of camber, half inch toe in, um, caster is at 10 degrees, and the Ackerman is at 70. Ackerman I haven't really messed around with much, but if you guys have any recommendations in the comments for um, Ackerman tuning, let me know because when I did get this tune from them, um, I did not have this kit at the time, so um, I did not get the tune for that. Um, and then what else we got here? Calipers, just the shocks were shock the uh, words are hard. Shockworks six pot three fifty five running at fifty seven point five percent. Um, tires are running the Falcon ZX ZE nine one twos. But if you don't have any of those, next in CP six six ones, guys. We've been over this. We got all of it. Suspension now. Suspension you want to have like about an eleven k stiffness, and then spring length is just you know how high or low you want your car to sit. But the fast bump, slow bump, fast rebound, slow rebound is literally all about the type of track you are driving. So all the way to the left is going to be very like tight turns and all of that. It's going to be like your Japanese tracks and your foreign tracks, whereas like your US tracks, right? Such as like um, not necessarily Irwindale, but um, the Orlando tracks, the Atlanta tracks, stuff like that are all going to be um, to the right. It's just basically how quick your car will be able to turn around. Um, but you want them either all the way left or all the way right. So alloys, um, it's my tune for the alloys, about 35 inch um, profile with about 10 and a half inch alloy width. And it's honestly, alloys are kind of like subjective, but there are ones that weigh less. I think, um, hmm. It, it'll tell you like if you go and pick different ones like you back in and out your like um, your mass will change But honestly, I really haven't noticed much difference. Oh my god I have that stupid glitch where um, the rear wheel that you were just looking at is just stuck on the back. There we go It's all fixed um, Now where were we? Um, rear wheels. So angle kit with the blatant kit um, Mine is not 1 16th. It just got thrown on there. So I run about 1 32nd on the toe in with um, camber, usually at about like 0 0.66, 0 0.65, running about there. Toe in, so this is, you either have two options, really, is 164th or 132nd. So 164th is kind of like if you don't have too much power and you're really just trying to like swing out the back end without having to like have so much power, 164th is a good sweet spot. But for me, I like 132nd because I feel like sometimes I get a little bit too aggressive with the steering and I oversteer a lot. So this helps kind of like counterbalance that. It's basically like how far, like if, if your wheel is your toe is zero and then like they start turning in and out, it's like how how big that is. And then camber, you guys know, of course, um, if that works. Differential. Um, let me just go buy the 1500 quick change because I, I, I know they're going to come at me in the comments if I don't buy it, or I could just instant buy that. Um, <laughs> diff lock at 100%, final drive all the way back down, guys, all the way back down. I'm running CP661s in the back. Fortune Air Pistons, just kind of exactly like we had in the front, but the only difference 
is um, for stiffness, which would be dropped down to 8K. Um, everything to the left or right, depending on what type of track you're running. And then for your body kit, right? I could have the Neo Samurai kit, but um, I kind of like my blue. So we go for a tune. Track is all just kind of like dependent on how you want your wheel fitment. Downforce is where it comes in. At. All right, so it's kind of like how much horsepower do you have? So I'm running at about 64. I should probably bump that up to 70 because I got a little bit more power now. So we're gonna hit 70 there. And then under spoiler, same thing. Your spoiler and your body kit downforce, you wanna have it about the same, um, you know, length and stuff like that. So without further ado, guys, that's kind of how I tune my car. Um, I could get the uh, the Clutch Masters FX 850, which I'm just gonna get now, just to kind of see like what I can change here. So all it is really is um, here. My shift time is usually 0.10, and or my clutch kick is 0.10 with shift time being zero. So I'm running a four-speed transmission in this, but my gear ratio. The only difference between you know the car or whatever is you can just change up your gear, gear like lengths and ratios individually rather than your final drive. So there you go, guys. There you have it. If you guys enjoyed this little tuning video, please don't forget to give it a like and also subscribe down below for more tortured content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.